I really believe that no one wakes up in the morning and say, I want to be a loser today. And so even if they're out there doing something they shouldn't be doing, chances are it's a cycle. Their parents was in the same predicament. And, and it, it takes someone like you to engage them and help find out behind all that toughness is a real soft person who just is led astray. I bet there is. Yeah. Do we have another caller there that we can take? Uh, okay, let's. Um, we've got a few more minutes here, but uh, I want to know a little bit more about um, what that person on each block is doing in your organization. Right. Um, you've talked to me before about governors, and I know you just lost one of your longtime uh, governors who was a great community activist. Um, I don't think I met him when I was down with no, you. He, no, he but, was um, then. Go ahead and talk yeah. about that a little. Yeah, rest in peace to um, Ralph Gucci from Roseland. He was the governor of 60609. But by zip code, we have in place uh, residents who accepted the responsibility to be, uh, if you will, the coordinator for an entire zip code. Uh, then we have inside the zip code what we call mayors. And the village mayor is someone who is almost like a precinct captain. They have at least 12 to 20 blocks under his or her care. And the purpose of that person is to be that single point of contact for any issue that comes up within those blocks. Uh, the challenge that we need from that is, and, and we have an acronym again, it's called the DWBBA. Uh, and that stands for Don't Want to Be Bothered Areas. We need that so much where people just don't want to be bothered uh, until something happens to them. Right. We had a lady. I get, I get that too. Care, so right. Well. Yeah, right. Yeah. People just, in this day and age, people just don't want to be bothered. And that's a challenge because if you wait till someone is shot and killed, now you're being active out of emotion versus being pragmatic and, and strategic, strategic about it. So uh, the bottom line is we need everyone to get as active as they can, engage people. You know, Scott is out there on the front lines. I'm out there. Uh, utilize us to help you go block by block and create the change. Right. And I think um, one other thing that we're doing in our office, I just put together a platform or a policy position. More, um, it's, it's a little bit of a statement on what we're trying to do to change the way we fight crime in the city. And I just put it up on my website uh, a little bit earlier. I'm going to go uh, switch over to that very quickly. Um, if you want to contact my office, I'm at 2657 North Clybourne. And um, you can get me at the email there, info at scottforchicago.com. And I have my, other, my older website up there, scottforchicago.com. But I also have a website at ward32.org. And I think one thing that, um, that we want to do is make sure we get information out there about the good things that Siron and his group are doing. Um, so, if, again, if you have time to go on Facebook, what's your other website that you um, work off of? www.nationalblockclubuniversity. www.nationalblockclubuniversity. And I think that it sounds like a big issue there, National Block Club University, but when I visited you and we went through some of the neighborhoods there and we talked about the things that um, you're having to face with your community, um, it really boils down to the block by block issues that you're having or that you're trying to tackle out there. And I think as elected officials, our job is to reach out, um, whether we're up on the north side or south side, and, and reach out into different directions and think about the decisions that we're making on the city council and how they affect the community as a whole. And that's why uh, Cy and I have been trying to work together and just uh, talking for starters and then going through these issues of prevention resources and enforcement to make sure that the, the community as a whole starts to change. Um, I want to thank you. I want to thank the viewers for all your calls. Um, we have some very good discussion uh, points here. Mm -hmm. And I think um, you're getting ready to go to Washington, D.C. Yes. And are, how are you preparing for that trip? Well, um, <laughs> we won't talk about the fundraising, but we, we, we're getting the young people ready. They're doing research on the Internet about southeast side of D.C. so that they can uh, – just enjoy themselves when they get out there. And which neighborhood is that in D.C.? Uh, it's the 8th Ward. Uh, Marion Barry's old ward. <laughs> be <Wow. over> there. <laughs> All right. It's a lot of violence over there, so yeah, we're going to see what we can do. Well, like I said at the beginning of the show, I think you and I have um, tried to reach out and learn from other people out there who have experience, who are going through different um, problems. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the biggest thing that we want to we want to get out to people is that we're willing to listen and learn. I want to thank uh, thank you for appearing on Political no, Forum you. tonight. I want to thank our technician, Steve Nicotopoulos. 
who uh, handles all of our calls and in a very gracious way for all the callers. And just to let you know, Political Forum is brought to you as a community service by CAN TV, and we wouldn't be able to do this and, and speak to you without the help of CAN TV. And I would say reach out and do all you can to, to support CAN TV. And please join us again next week for Political Forum, where Alderman Willie Cochran of the 20, 20th Ward will be here for the, uh, the hot seat to talk to callers and, and take calls from you. Have a great evening. Thank you, everyone. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. All right.